Hello and welcome to News Making Headlines on September 30th. Let's get straight down to a rather deplorable activity which had landed a woman in more than just hot water. Police have arrested 24-year-old Suriya Gon Somsap, who is believed to be a key member of a gang that sold falsified tax invoices over the internet for more than two years and has caused the state a massive 1 billion baht in revenue losses. Technology Crime Suppression Department Chief Surapon Hom Chin Chom said the buyers of the false invoices claimed VAT rebates at a rate of 7% of the invoice value from re the Revenue Department. Silly Yagon was arrested at her home in Patung Thani and was charged with issuing tax invoices without authority and putting false information into a computer system. Police also seized 10,000 of the invoices and six computers from a house doubling up as an office for a construction materials company allegedly set up to conceal the illegal business. Siri Yagon could face up to 12 years in jail and a fine of up to 300,000 baht for both offenses if convicted. Police, good luck to them, are hunting down the rest of the gang and those who bought the fake invoices. Have you had enough of the baby drama surrounding superstar film? Perhaps, but not for his fans and especially the media when you take into account that the highly controversial issue is playing out like a typical soap opera as more personalities are pitching in, so much so it's hard to sift out fact from fiction or just pure lies. The whole drama came into focus when sexy Thai Swiss actress Annie Brooks claimed film is the father of her baby, sending shock waves across the entertainment industry and leading to film being suspended by R.S. boss Surachai Che Chotsak. Then things went downhill, all the plots started getting thicker. Now Channel 3 executive Somrak Nalong Wichai has come out to back R.S. boss Surachai's claim that actor Jun or Kitikun Samrit Pansuk was among the four men that Annie Brooks allegedly wanted to extort 250,000 baht from after, after she became pregnant. Thai Rat's main headline screams, Jun Somrak showdown. Sub-headlines say, Jun quits Channel 3, refusing to be a scapegoat. Somrak supports R.S. boss but claims he has no evidence and he pleads for people to stop attacking her, challenging them to check her account. The actress fiercely denied the accusation from R.S. chief Surachai that she was involved with four men at the same time late last year, maintaining that she only dates one man at a time and that if she had wanted to extort money from any man, for causing her to become pregnant, she would have demanded a seven-digit sum, not a mere 250,000 baht, which is too cheap for a human life. Well, one wonders who is going to pop up next with what. A picture in Thairat shows a group of women from Lampang's Jaehom district gathering in support of Annie and protesting against R.S. Chief Surachai for leveling an accusation against the actress who is a native of Rampang. The protesters call for a boycott of RS products. Let's now stride into the scenes of a strange crime. Tyra's headline says, Brutal security guard stabs 10 men. Having an inferiority complexity over not having girlfriends, he followed men walking with women and later attacked them. Police arrested Virachai Asawa Latana Pakdi who stabbed one of the men identified as Mani Tasana, who is in critical condition. The guard confessed to stabbing more than 10 men. He said he felt paranoid and suspicious that the men looked down on him for not having a girlfriend. So he took revenge by stalking each of his victims and assaulting them when they were walking alone. Meanwhile, if you like buying stuff from street hawkers at Siam Square, you could be disappointed to know that you may not see any of them in the next couple of weeks. Typos Excite cover headline says, Street hawkers stubborn. Jula threatens to take drastic action, giving them 15 days more before clearing the footpaths for the public. The hawkers have for years been present at Siam Square, which belongs to Jula Longkorn University. 
The university has received many complaints from the public and shop owners in the area that hundreds of these hawkers obstruct their walkway and make it hard for customers to enter the shops. An effort to find a new location for the hawkers is underway. If they don't quit selling on the street and walkways after two weeks, municipal police will slap them with fines. We wrap up this program with pictures of His Beloved Majesty the King attired in a black tuxedo and watching a concert by an orchestra performing some of the songs he composed. Members of the public eagerly waited to catch a loving glimpse of His Majesty at the Lom Prakiet building and chants of Long Live the King echoed across the building as he passed by in a wheelchair on his way to the concert hall in Siriraj Hospital last night. The King has been in hospital for a little over a year now. Thanks for tuning in. Have a great weekend. Bye.